Hold on, hold on. Okay, go. Welcome to the Ice Stop. Happy Free Comic Book Day. I'm James Syme, the owner, and this is my other superstar, the real superstar, the featured superstar of Free Comic Book Day at the Ice Dump, Aiden Hernacki, 11 years old, two issues of his Onion Brothers comic out. Woo! Today we debuted Onion Brothers Vampire Slayers. <laughs> That's awesome. awesome. What, what's the Onion Brothers about? Well, there is two, there is two onions, and one They're is brothers. very dumb, one no, is very dumb. smart, <laughs> and they go on these crazy adventures. The first one, the aliens steal all the world's bacon, so obviously they must get it back, That's otherwise the world will That's end. Terrible. And then in the second one, they go visit their cousin, the Garlic Brothers, who are vampires. Oh, okay. That's, That's awesome. Excellent. So if you I can't make it. it down to Free Comic Book Day at Isotope right now, where can you obtain the Onion Brothers? Let's see, do you guys sell Onion Brothers on your on your site or something? You can buy it at, at the Isotope. Okay. Um, we know that one of your big fans of your of your Onion Brothers from last year is... Who's your big fan? Nope. Well, besides <laughs> me, no. Loki, Tom Hiddleston. Uh, right? Wait, I'm sorry. No, the, oh, Hold on. Captain Jack, you mean? Oh, Cap it's Captain uh, Jack? Yes, oh, Captain I'm sorry. Oh. I got it all wrong. <laughs> yeah, oh, where's okay. that video? There's a video of him talking about yes. how much he loves it. Awesome. You guys have to get that to me so I can put it on my website. Yeah. Yeah, I'd love to see that. Famous. Cool. That's awesome. So, yeah, That's you can awesome. get this at the ice so, dump. Yeah. And I don't know, you guys can. You got a Facebook There you go. All right, well, what's, what's the Facebook site? Facebook.com uh, slash Onion Bros. That's really easy awesome. to remember. Perfect. All right, well, thank cool. you very much. We're looking for forward coming. to reading the Onion Brothers. Of course. Hi, I'm Jared Swift, A's and Geeks Podcast. We're here outside of Bicycle. Um, let, um, well, first of all, why don't you introduce yourself? Because this is quite an honor. Uh, well, my name is J.H. Williams III, and I've been working in the comics industry for over 20 years. And my current project is Sandman, Neil Gaiman. Excellent. How's that going? Oh, good. I mean, it's a dream project. So, oh, yeah. uh, no pun intended, but you know, <laughs> yes. absolutely a dream project. When do you think we might be able to see uh, that on show? Uh, well, issue two is out now. Oh, okay. If you're holding that right now. It's right here? Yes. <laughs> and, uh, Sorry, we'll start show. <laughs> yeah, and then issue three will be out uh, relatively soon. As soon as possible. Cool. How did you get involved with Sandman? Um, well, I had met Neil a long time ago down in San Diego during the convention. And um, we were, me and my wife, we were coming out of our hotel, and I'd never met Neil before, uh, but I, I could recognize him. He's a very recognizable figure. And he was either getting, about to get into a cab or coming out of a cab. He was standing by this cab talking to a couple, couple people. And I'm like, that's Neil Gaiman. And uh, Wendy, my wife, she's like, oh, we should you know, go say hi ourselves and stuff. And I'm like, yeah, we should do that. And then we started to walk over there and I'm like, yeah, he's talking to people. It's kind of rude to just butt in. And um, he, uh, so we turn around and walk another 30, 40 feet going in the other direction. And then I just stopped. And I'm like, no, I have to go shake Neil Damon's hand and say, I love his work. <laughs> you know? Yeah. So we butted into his conversation and I thought we were quite rude doing that, but you know, I ended up telling him, I'm like, I'm so and so, and I've drawn uh, Promethea with Alan, you know, with Alan Moore. And he's like, Oh, I, he's, I love Promethea, I like your work. And, um, and I said, Well, you know, I'm a huge fan of yours. If you ever want to work together, that'd be amazing, you know. Um, several years go by, uh, and I never spoke to him since then. But then I get this email from Vertigo Comics, Karen Berger, when she was in charge of Vertigo, spelling out this long letter about this new Sandman project and that Neil has asked for me to do it. Wow. And, and so, of course, you know, that came while I was working on Batwoman still. And so, you know, I, I, I said, well, I'm in the middle of this other thing. You know, can we wait? And, uh, and so we figured out the schedule as best we could and uh, allow me to finish up what I was doing on Batwoman as best I could as far as art. And I would stay on Batwoman as a writer and then move my art duties over to working on Salmon. So, but what was interesting is that when I finally did get to speak to Neil, 
he had said he had always remembered that conversation. And I'm like, why well, was it because I was completely rude? And <laughs> butted into your other conversation. He's like, no, no, you're perfectly fine. Because if anything, it just you, I could see the enthusiasm you had for my for his writing. You know? and he always remembered that, and that's and so when this came up, he's like, let's get him. That's awesome. That's very yeah, cool. incredible. How did you get started on Promethea? Uh, Promethea was an interesting situation. I got a call from Wildstorm, Scott Dubier over at Wildstorm, saying that they were planning Miss America's best line of comics, and Promethea was going to be one of them. Um, that they had actually already spoken to several artists at the time, people way more popular than I was at the time. And he was honest with me about that, and he says, you're not, he's like, you're not my first choice, he says, but uh, you know, you've been recommended to me from you know Alex Ross and Todd Klein. So he says, can you send me photocopies of stuff that you're really proud of and happy with? So I sent him, you know, a huge portion of Chase comics and uh, Son of Superman comics, the graphic novel. I did a bunch of stuff that I felt was Mr. Williams. It was a pleasure. Pleasure. That was unique one, yeah. enough that that I hoped you would find interesting. So I sent that sent that off and then a few weeks go by and then, then Wallstrom calls back and he says, Alan loves what we've done here. He says, you're the guy, you want to do it. Wow. You know, and that was like one, another one of those things, especially at that point in my career, you know, I was struggling still to, you know, prove myself and so on. And for someone like Alan to see something in me was enormous, you know, uh, changed my Changed my life, really. Oh, I'm sure. It's something like Promethea is just incredible. Oh, thanks. The storytelling on it. I, if I bring my copies of Promethea back here, will you sign them? Absolutely. Oh, thank you so much. <laughs> is my favorite Alan Moore copy. Oh, great. Thanks. I, like, I didn't know that walking into yeah, the Yeah, I know. That's really cool. Like 10 seconds <laughs> right before, when I noticed your name tag, and I was like, sure, bring this up. Uh, the, sweet, the sweetest thing about getting that job. Well, not the sweetest thing, but one a very gratifying thing besides getting the job in the first place is that I was about, I don't know, into drawing issue six or seven at the time, and Scott Dubier at, over at Wildstorm, you know, emailed, called me back, and he said, you know, I just got to tell you, you know, um, you know you were my first choice. He says, but now I can't see anyone else oh, that's drawing for me yet. That was so great to hear that. Because, you know, I really, you know, that's what I had set out to do is to make something very singular and unique to itself. It really was. Yeah. Did you do any occult research to get any of that imagery now? There's a lot of research involved. Um, fortunately, I, you know, I did a lot of it myself and my wife did a lot of it too before speaking with Alan and stuff. But I did have a, an interest in the subject well before that ever came along. So from an occult metaphysical point of view, it's very fascinating that oh, that yeah. project came along right. because I was already interested in it. So it's like, of course that would be the project that would come along and allow me to grow. A lot of things you know, with that comic worked in there. there. Especially the training scene was very meta. Oh, yeah. 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 Well, it was amazing to meet you. Thank you and so I much. actually, I'm pretty sure you're actually, we have this thing on the show where we give out a weekly Ace of Geeks award that nobody ever notices. I'm pretty sure you're actually one of our past honorees because yeah, when I the Batwoman so. thing oh, happened, cool. we gave you guys one for, for the way you guys handled that. We really, oh, cool. really appreciate cool. it. I think, that, I think that was really, really cool. 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 Yeah, really, really awesome. Yeah, we so. loved working on Batwoman. It was, you know, again, it was another very personal project and I think we ended up having something important to say, so. Yeah. Yeah. Cool. So how did you end up being the shop boy today at Isotope? Well, I've known James for quite a few years now, and he uh, he got this idea to, um, I guess he was out shopping for records on Record Store Day, and he saw that some of the shops actually had surprise musicians in, acting as if they were there to help yeah. employees, yeah. and he's like, he called me up, he's like, hey, I got this idea, do you want to do it? It's and I'm like, idea. yeah, sure, why not? He's like, we won't tell anyone. We won't tell anyone that you're going to be here, and they can, it'll just be a surprise. You know, Are you so. running into a lot of people who have our reaction? Uh, oh yeah. my god. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, there's been a few people who are like, no, this is not for real. <laughs> As I'm ringing up their comments. Yeah. You know, <laughs> you know, register. Uh, you know, like, oh, I, I drew that. <laughs> that's so, awesome. Incredible. Yeah. Well, um, would you ever feel comfortable, I don't know if you live around here, coming on our podcast and doing an interview? 
Um, I live about two hours from here. Okay. We also Skype. <laughs> I, I'm such a luddite. I'm okay. I'm with Skype. I but, understand. Okay. Um, but, you know, maybe one of these, if, if I do a signing anytime in, in the future, please here, let me know because I'd love to get maybe it. Yeah. Because yeah. I'll be, be in the area. Okay. That would be great. Cool. Well, thank, thank you, you so much. much. For your time. Sure. Thank you. Really great meeting you. Great to meet you too. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Have a great day.